Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And we got this special thing in front of us today. So this is a 2022 Ford F-150, but not a regular F-150, oh no. This is a 775 horsepower Shelby Super Snake Sport. So the Sport, meaning that it's a regular cab F-150 that's also been lowered. It's got custom suspension on it from Shelby. It's got obviously a supercharger. You guys can see up there, it says supercharged. And all that package, as I said, makes 775 horsepower. 775 horsepower in a truck of this size. This is a small truck. Now, the thing about this is, these are also rare trucks because they're very limited and they only make a certain amount per year. So you're not gonna have, they don't just, continue to make them like they do regular f-150s consistently they only that there's a certain production number and once they hit that production number that's it for that year but this is regardless a really special truck this one in particular is a black with black stripes and a black interior my personal favorite the way i would spec it is i would get a white with blue stripes the classic shelby look with the black wheels of course or you can in turn also go for chrome wheels. I prefer the black ones, just depending on your preference. I don't think Shelby does aluminum. They might, uh, I, they probably do, I just haven't seen them. But regardless, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a little FOV of the truck. So we're gonna get behind the wheel. I'm gonna stop talking, because I know you much rather hear this thing. And let's go ahead and hit the road. I guess before we hit the road, let me show you uh, this heart of the beast. So that, as I said, is a five liter Coyote V8. Starts off life as just any regular five liter. But then the masterminds at Shelby American get their hands on it and they throw in that massive three liter Whipple supercharger on it. And for the third time in this video, this truck makes 775 horsepower. On a truck this size, it's crazy. So you have that massive intake, which you, is great because then you can hear the blower even when you're inside with the ac on sounds magnificent you guys will hear that but yeah that's the beautiful package uh they do powder coat all these blue i think you can get a different color if you option it i'm not exactly sure I i'm assuming you can spec it any way you want you know for the right amount of money you could get whatever you want but let's go ahead and uh hop in the truck and get moving oh go before we take off again let's go ahead and take a look at this interior real quick so on a regular cab F-150, the highest room you can go that Ford lets you is an XLT. So it comes with cloth seats. You can, it could, does come with that bench seat. And Shelby, when they get their hands on it, do this really nice leather, you know, um, I guess. So to hop in the truck, first, let's look at this interior. So you have this full leather interior which has super snake sport you have this beautiful red stitching and this is custom by shelby because if you guys know anything about these regular cab f-150s ford the maximum trim you can order on a regular cab f-150 is an xlt you can't get a lariat platinum whatever that's on the four doors the two doors maximum is an xlt so cloth seats um i do believe they do have leather leather steering wheels but as far as that it's pretty basic you get the bench seat shelby goes out beautiful leather beautiful stitching you have this inscribed super snake sport you have the carbon fiber trim on the dash it looks awesome but let's go ahead and hop in this truck and fire it up you do get this regular key fortunately it's not a push button but whatever shut off that radio it's great even on startup but let me give you guys a little uh you can hear the supercharger a little bit sounds awesome but before i go ahead and stop talking and we hop in this video I, I will not be doing wide open throttle full full throttle accelerations because as you guys can see mandatory braking procedure until the abdominal reaches 1500 miles do not accelerate hard exceed 4000 engine rpm pull a trailer use cruise control so this is not my truck it's a very expensive truck and i don't want to ruin it for the customer that ends up buying it so we're just going to take it normal we're going to drive it we might do a little a little kind of pull up to like 3000 rpm but no hard acceleration or anything so to put it in drive it's a regular old column shift and let's go ahead and take off we're taking off in the regular cab buff 150. i guess the first thing you guys are going to notice is 
just the amount of torque and power this thing has underneath the throttle i mean again i can't go crazy but this truck makes a lot of power for a regular cab truck and it's an absolute beast i mean i really like it but yeah i mean it, it, it's a beautiful truck it's definitely the uh, the only performance truck of its kind that i've seen i mean chevrolet and dodge don't offer a uh little regular cab truck this is this kind of harkens back to the old school lightnings in my opinion this is the best you know spiritual successor to the second generation lightning two-door supercharged a lot of power good looking truck but now i guess uh you guys are probably saying can you just shut up already and <laughs> i will so now let's let the truck go ahead and uh talk to you guys While we're at the light, let me go ahead and uh, tell you guys a little bit more about it. So, as I said, this truck does have a custom suspension set up to where it will handle a lot better than a regular F-150 will. And it does need it because the, all this power needs to be able to, you know, get put down on the road. Now, again, I have been in one of these that has been broken in. And um, it, won't, it will not catch traction with the tires it has on it because it's just, it's too much power. It's got no weight in the back. But... I'm sure if you throw on maybe a little bit of smaller wheel, some drag radios like Mickey Thompson's or some nice Nittos, I'm sure that this truck will pick up or be able to catch just fine. And also this, how, uh, you know, this Coyote has made it to that, to the Ford's 10 speed. So it is, it is a pretty good trans. It is a quick shifting. It's a smooth transmission. And it's honestly the best, the best thing that they could have done to put that in this truck because it can handle all the power but when you also want to cruise it makes for a great cruiser it's not too loud it's not too it's not too quiet either now in my personal preference i do wish it was a little bit louder but you know most of the people that buy this truck aren't really don't want that but honestly for for it being a daily driver or a cruiser or whatever you want to use it for the exhaust is perfect i mean it's you know it's just right it's just loud enough when you want it and the exhaust actually will get louder when the truck breaks in because it's I forgot what the whole technology is called but the truck actually does get louder and i know it does because like i said i've been in a i have been in a f-150 sport the previous gen um it was breaking in it's the same motor and everything and it's definitely a louder you know having it broken in than this truck is but yeah let's uh i'll catch up with you guys after we get past this light again So we're gonna go ahead and hop on the highway here. I will let you guys hear the engine a little bit. Obviously I can't do much, but you will hear something. I mean, sounds great, honestly.
quick little thing we got a model x plaid in front of us that's that's a quick quick vehicle but doesn't have the heart and soul of the super snake sport honestly in my opinion that supercharged 5.0 is just oh my goodness just even those little just little throttle inputs it sounds amazing i mean you get the burble you get the v8 noise you get everything it's just it's it's a great sounding truck honestly Now the one thing you guys will notice is that this suspension is particularly bouncy. Um, being the truck only has 30 miles on it, it, it will be bouncy. It's gonna need some time to settle, but once it does settle, it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect, honestly. It's it's designed to be a sport suspension, so it's not gonna be the most comfortable thing out there. If you want something comfortable, you might as well go buy a uh, F-150 Limited or a Platinum or something, but, or even the lowered Shelby trucks, those drive great, very comfortable, the four doors. But this thing is more, obviously in the name, it's sport. So it's a more sporty suspension. It's definitely a lot bouncier. It's a little bit rougher as well, you know, over bumps. But regardless of all those things, it's a great, great platform. Um, you can absolutely daily drive this thing if need be. Um, or you could just put it up in your garage and drive it once a week. I mean, that's honestly, in my opinion, that'd be kind of detrimental because the whole point of it is you're supposed to drive it, but teaches their own, right?